Hello and welcome to African Farming. Now, if you are a livestock farmer, you must know that you're going to have a whole lot of challenges in terms of biosecurity. Biosecurity will ensure that you have good, healthy animals and also your business can be sustainable. To discuss this with me is Dr. Farah Abdul Kader, who's a state vet and chief animal technician, Joseph Manamela. Guys, welcome. Thank you for having us. Dr. Farah, let me start with you. What is biosecurity all in all? Um, biosecurity is basically a set of preventative measures uh, that you can apply at any production system in order to prevent infectious diseases from getting onto your farm and into your, into your livestock. So which animal is biosecurity far more important? There's no one animal species for which you can say um, biosecurity is more important. Um, whatever animal you're farming with, you have to make sure biosecurity is implemented. There are many controlled and notifiable diseases that can be prevented through implementation of biosecurity measures. Now, how can farmers and auction houses like Flay Central make sure that a good biosecurity system is in place and that animals are healthy? Um, so, auction facilities like this, basically they are a second level of um, animal disease detection. And so because they form such a crucial economic part of the livestock production value chain, they play an important role in reducing the risk of transport animal diseases. So if we, if we talk about auction houses specifically, um, auction houses can implement movement control, access control. So when you get to an auction facility with your animals, um, there should be vehicle disinfection which we've seen here today. Um, and besides that, you have to have all your paperwork in order before you ever come to the auction facility. Um, so if your paperwork is in order, you pass through the main entrance and then the auction facility itself should be divided into different areas based on risk. So you have the arrival or the dirty area and then we have the clean or the biosecure area. And animals which are allowed into the biosecure area are then allowed to be sold. So before they enter the biosecure area, those animals that come with the owners must be inspected. So when the animals are inspected, you inspect them for any signs of disease, illnesses, you inspect them for their permanent identification mark, and you also have to inspect them to make sure they don't have any special brand marks which indicate controlled or notifiable diseases, um, such as foot and mouth disease, brucellosis, and TB. Um, if animals don't pass that inspection, there should be a separate holding facility for them for further handling. But should they pass, they can enter the biosecure area and for, for sale. Um, the biosecure area itself, the animals can be sold out of. At the, at the end of every auction, this area must be cleaned and disinfected. And in order for the people to enter, the people should also, um, movement of the people should be controlled. So we use registers and logbooks to make sure who is entering and leaving. Um, and aside from the logbooks, the people should also walk through foot baths at the minimum and hand sanitizer. Um, the vehicles as well, you, I mean, they can go through a wheel dip when they enter the biosecure area specifically. Joseph, let me come to you. Now, what tests can we conduct today to make sure that the animals that are going to be here for sale are healthy? Uh, we're going to be conducting the brucellosis testing, uh, where we are testing female cattle that where we are collecting blood from the cattle and then we send the blood sample to the lab where they are going to give us the results back whether there is a reaction or not and the other second test that we'll be doing is a tuberculosis the tb testing also in cattle where we'll be doing the intradermal test whereby we shave the cattle and then we inject uh, the tubercoline, then after 72 hours of testing, you come back and check the reaction on the injection site. Now, Joseph, why are these tests important to do before you even start selling your animals? They are important. Uh, most of all, those diseases that we, I spoke about, first of all, they are zoonotic diseases, which means uh, they can be transmitted to people also. People can also get diseases from cattle where they can be, affect, be infected with brucellosis or they can also be infected with tuberculosis if they drink milk from a cattle with, which is TB positive. People can also get TB from the milk. So guys, I've learned a lot. Thank you so much for your time. It was a thank, pleasure. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. 
and there you have it. Biosecurity is very important. It can be the difference between you making a profit or losing your entire herd. Please keep on watching African Farming and remember, we farm better together. Get the necessary cover for you and your family in the event of unforeseen misfortune. The African Farming Protector Plan offers you comprehensive funeral cover for your entire family plus extended family at an affordable cost. Our product also offers benefits such as monthly discounts on groceries, discounted bus tickets, ambulance services, and trauma and assault assistance, to name a few. For more information on the African Farming Comprehensive Funeral Plan, SMS African Farming to 45269 and get the peace of mind you deserve.